Alright boys, welcome to the voiceover for this pull date. Now, I'm gonna go through what I'm doing on my pull date to actually build muscle. So, I always start off my pull days with like a heavy row movement. And the only heavy row movement I'm doing is the seal cable row machine. I don't mind this machine, but you see the pad where my chest is? That kind of fucking gets in the way and it doesn't really make it nice, you know? It kind of hurts the chest. My idea here is... So on the eccentric, I'm lowering down as much as I can just to get the full stretch in the back. And when I'm bringing it up, get the two shoulder blades together and squeezing and then going all the way down. Now, I don't mind this exercise. I'm doing this for five sets. So and after that, I'm moving into single cable pull downs. Now, these are the best back exercise. You really have to put a focus on this. That's with every back exercise, any exercise in general. Going all the way down and imagine bring your elbow to your pocket. And when you're doing that kind of twisted way you're working. So if you're working the right lat, twist right. Like, even if you do that right there, pull your arm down and twist, you can really feel it in your lap. And doing that with like slowed and controlled reps, your back is gonna be in bits. Moving on to seated rows, devastating. My gym doesn't even have a machine for this, so I have to like put it up every time. But look, you work what you have, do you know what I mean? So doing these, exactly the same. I feel like pull is the exact same movements. You're going down slowly and just squeezing the two shoulder blades together. I think that's with every pull exercise, every row exercise. I don't think there's much to be said here. Uh, just like play it out, you know. Uh, I'm working pretty hard here, boys. Not gonna lie, I'm going to failure. I'm moving on to floor lap pull downs because uh, my gym doesn't have a machine. But working the back on this, but yeah, of course it's pull day. When I'm bringing it down, I'm sticking my chest out and I'm bringing the two shoulder blades together and I'm pulling down. Just imagine my elbow going as far as I can to my hip and bring the two shoulder blades together, squeezing the back and slowly on the way up. It's basically a pull up where you're just pulling down the lap pull down bar. That's why it's called a lap pull down. And the last exercise for back is pull ups. It's my last back exercise. I'm not expecting to get, you know, fucking PRs of pull ups like 20 or 25. This is just a burnout for the lats. My lats are already completely destroyed. I just want to do a couple of sets just you know get them as fatigued as possible that way they can grow that's that's what it comes down to you work your muscles as hard as you can so you can recover and fucking build muscle last i did five sets of tricep pushdowns i don't really do any other tricep exercises maybe i should but i only do tricep pushdowns i don't really feel the other ones like the other ones are just they're just there you know and, and anything over my head like let's say the tricep extensions over the head that fucking hurts my shoulders, so I don't do them. So I'm just doing tricep pushdowns, really perfecting my form here. Imagining, you know, the bone from your shoulder to your elbow, keeping that straight and squeezing on the way down. Now, I don't know, I could be doing this completely wrong, but that's the way I fucking feel it. And I ended the day off with shrugs, which I didn't record. All right, boys, that is pull day done. Now, you know what? Fantastic workout. A uh, hint PRs on basically every single movement, uh, like starting off with the seated see it row yoke don't even know what that machine is called but start off with see the row i'm just getting you know more reps heavier weight for more and more and more and uh, i'm gonna only put that down to one thing uh, that's just the bulk coming into work you know um like right now i'm sitting at like 82.6 around there trying to break through to 84 and i mean am i kind of i'm i'm not like kind of plateaued but you know, it's kind of just stalling there. So what I do when I plateau, I just increase the calories by like 100, 200 calories. So let's say you're not gaining weight. You're just stuck at a single weight. Let's say you're 80 kg and you keep stuck at that. Add another 100 to 200 calories. And that could be anything. That's literally known. A tablespoon of peanut butter is around like 100 calories more. So just have one of that and uh, you'll be fine. Just do that before bed. I eat before bed. I don't know, a lot of people don't eat before bed, but I only eat before bed because my thought process is that you build the most, most muscle when you're asleep, so therefore you should eat before you sleep. It only makes sense, you know, unless if I'm like proper retarded and it could really impact your health, but it hasn't really done anything to me and I recommend eating before you go to bed. Especially like some slow digestion protein, that way when you're sleeping, you're building muscle uh, at a better degree. Is that how you say that? I don't know. But I haven't been able to record in a while. I, my whole schedule is very fucking busy. Like, it's coming up to Christmas, work's busy, and I'm just getting rostered in, you know, earlier shifts. So I don't really have time to actually record and edit. So I was lucky today. And, you know, what? there's another aspect of recording. You can actually see uh, your sets and your mistakes so you can just improve on the next time. So let's say I do the single cable pull down and I see, oh shit, my form is kind of shit on this. 
I can, you know, take a step back, focus on like the fundamental movement on the form, and then improve it. There's always a benefit of that. But tomorrow's leg day, but like I'm in early again, so I can't really record it. So the next workout I can actually record is Sunday. Sunday's leg day on Christmas Eve. So I guess I'll see you on Christmas Eve, boys.